Hello YouTube, I'm going to do a little co-review of Flower for the PS3 available from the PlayStation Store for $9.99 plus tax depending on what state you live in. Uh, Andrew is going to be playing as it's a game geared towards women but I played it a little bit earlier and I enjoyed it. Basically the concept of the game is you play as a flower. A petal. A petal. And you have these... Uh, places that you go, like fields or whatnot, and in these fields it's not colorful. You're the only flower there. Well, sort of. There's other flowers, but they're not bloomed. And you have to guide your flower into the other flowers to make them bloom, which gives color to the land. And there's somewhat of a story about a flower that lives in a lives in Whoa. a city and a house and a pot but basically you it has the motion control that flow had I'm sorry I'm adjusting the camera while this is recording but it wasn't set up very well so it's fixing it but anyways as you can see Andrew is controlling that one petal and as she hits other petals and other flowers they bloom and a petal comes up and they go along with her in the wind. There she's holding X, which makes her go faster. Whoa. <laughs> so she can just zoom and hit flowers real quick. As you can see, this level is a little more colorful to begin with. One of the other levels we played earlier is purely black and white, except for the flowers, until you start collecting flowers. Um, the motion control works pretty well, in my opinion. If you could play decently in flow, then flower will be a piece of cake for you. Because I was going to say, I didn't really like, I mean, like, not that I didn't like flow, but I couldn't play it very well, but, um, this seems, I mean, this is pretty easy. Yeah, this seems like you don't have to be as precise as in flow. You can just get relatively close to the, the flower buds, and, and once they'll you, open, um, especially once you have a few petals, it, it seems like your radius is way bigger. Once you, you like do all of the flowers in one area usually more flowers bloom in that area and then you have to go and get those flowers too right like she just did this and now I think more flowers are gonna bloom usually when it zooms out like that okay or no winds blowing the turbines now different things you collect will make different actions happen what and there is trophy support in this game if you're into that I'm not really into it because I feel like trophies were an afterthought I'm just trying to copy off the, P or the 360 it's a very artistic, beautiful game, and the graphics look like, pretty good. Pretty like awesome. The grass, the grass and stuff. It's each blade of grass is like its own thing, and it moves when you blow your petals past them. And oh my petals are going insane. Uh, it doesn't, from what we've played, we haven't really finished the game, but we're on like what the fourth level, third level, fourth, fourth level. They're uh, can't seem to die. Yeah, or you can't seem to die or lose, which. It's actually kind of nice. Yeah, it is, it is nice. I mean, at first I didn't like it, but it's a very soothing game. It's a, yeah, it's not like a game. I mean, it's, it's just like a, a game relaxing. that you play to you know, right. get angry and shoot some people. Ouch! <laughs> Except I dropped the controller, and that doesn't work so well in a motion sensor game. Yes, the game uses the six-axis control, and I think it's the best use of it so far. Because um, six-axis is almost like an afterthought, in my opinion, too. But games that only use the six axis like this are the only ones that really take advantage of it, I think. The only button. You can press any button to go faster. Um, like there she was going kind of fast because she was just holding no, the that button. No, some, sometimes when you hit certain flowers they make you go fast. And certain flowers apparently also make you go fast. Here. It's a little bit harder now because when it was black and white, you could see the flowers that you hadn't gotten. But now that it's a little more colorful, it's kind of hard to tell where I've been and where I haven't been. Okay, there's. And really, if you kind of think about the concept of the game, it's almost. And this might sound kind of weird, but it's almost like a futuristic Pac Man minus the ghosts. Because there's just like lines of flowers and you just got to follow them and collect them and make them bloom. And, and there's other flowers that are shiny and yellow or red. 
and they make certain events happen when you get them all. It's a very beautiful, enjoyable game, I think. I do too. I actually like it a lot better than I thought I would. I think it's well worth the ten dollar price tag. Over here. And it's nice that there is like a story to it, like. You start out as like a lonely, tiny flower sitting in a pot in a black and white, disgusting city. And as you advance through the levels, it kind of shows you different scenes of the city and it slowly starts to regain color as well. There she collected some of those, so the wind's blowing those turbines. Excuse me. <clears throat> this level, I think kind of as you go on, it's kind of like a, just a, not really a free play, but with the earlier levels, it kind of gives you a direction you're supposed to go in. But this level, I kind of feel like I'm not lost necessarily, necessarily. Just going wherever, though. But I have to really check roaming. myself. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to do an AO. But it really is, I mean, it's really fun, honestly. Like, it... Whoa, it's making me go really fast. Ah! Like here, it seems to be giving me a little bit more direction as far as... And you can zoom pretty fast when you get your a lot of pedals going, because you don't have to be very precise. Mm. I'm sure I got all of them on. And it seems like you, you don't necessarily have to get all of the flowers, just the ones with the rings around them are the ones that are important, like the glowing light. And as you see, as she collects more, there's also like little, those little glowy ball things that appear, which I'm not real sure what they're supposed to be, if it's like pollen or something Crap. of that nature. I hit a button. As you can see, Andrea I'm still, not an expert. She's not an expert. <laughs> I don't play much PlayStation. Especially not with the... I don't think anyone plays much PlayStation, to be honest. But especially not with the... Uh, motion motion. Control. Yeah. If I do, it's not, like... To the point where I have to... I don't know. I really like this game, though. It's really fun. It reminds me of Easter, which is coming up soon. So, it's the Easter. I think it's well worth a ten dollar price tag, though. I would say that it's probably a ten out of ten. I agree. It's. I mean, we so, haven't gotten super far in the game, but honestly, so far it's really fun, really enjoyable. finish out here in the last couple minutes and just let you take it all in. The music's pretty enjoyable too, very relaxing. <laughs> 